August reading you guys good to see you we're gonna be doing a little bit of a different reading this time um, I've been feeling called to kind of go deeper with my readings um, so you know if you're kind of on your spiritual journey and you're wanting to know you know you know what's going on what are your lessons what what healing is coming up for you right now uh, and what lessons are coming up for you right now um, then this is the reading for you so stay tuned we might get into like love situations and stuff like that too, but I wanted to kind of go deeper into all of that and um, bring up whatever deeper meanings and lessons that spirits has for you in this time. All right, <clears throat> so we're gonna go into some announcements. If you guys wish to not listen to the announcements, I'm gonna explain to you guys how to access extended readings, how to win a, uh, a free personal reading from me um, and all of my information. So if you guys want to listen to that, then stay tuned. If you don't want to, the timestamp for that is below. You can just skip right to the main reading, okay? All right, Cap or, um, I almost said Capricorn. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If this res does not resonate for you guys, you guys can check your other placements or check previous Scorpio readings. What I talked about three months ago could be applying now. Or you guys can book a personal reading. It's the only way it's going to truly resonate for you guys. Um, I just realized I wanted my hair down. I don't want my hair up today. I want my hair down. Um, if it does resonate for you guys, then you guys can... Uh, there's a extended reading to this, okay? You guys can access that through Patreon or the one-time purchase link. Both of those are below. Um, Patreon is a membership... Um, program where you can pay a low, a low monthly membership fee and get access to all of my extendeds all the time. You also get different perks depending on what level you sign up on. So there's a 444, 888. For instance, the, the $8.88 level gets you access to all of my extendeds, but also gets you access to bonus readings um, that are exclusive to Patreon. It also gets you 50% uh, off of personal readings. 50% off of my jewelry and 10% off of my guidance package. Uh, my guidance package is available to everybody. Um, it is where you work with me one-on-one -on, -one on a weekly basis. We communicate daily uh, through whatever you're going through at the moment um, on top of readings throughout the week, okay? So it's just kind of a uninspired thing that, um, that came to me and I feel like that's something that I wanna do to help people other than just doing a reading, you know, um, working with you one-on-one -on -one with whatever you're going through. Have some extra guidance, okay? Um, all of my information, social media-wise, is all in the description box. My email is in the description box. If you want a personal reading with me, that information is down there as well. I would just say just email me um, instead of going to my website. Use my website for jewelry, um, but just email me for a personal reading because I'm going to have to email me email you to talk to you about the personal reading. Anyways, okay. I would love for you guys to subscribe to the channel. Put your energy into this channel. Become a part of the Triple Moon Oracle Tribe. I would love that. I would love to have you guys. Turn on all of your notifications so you're notified for when my readings come out. Leave me a comment. Um, give me a like on the reading. Thumbs up the reading so that it circulates it into the search engine and that's about it all right let's get started on your reading you guys overall energy for scorpio please spirit what is going on with scorpio right now what is the message for their highest good okay garden in the gate it kind of came in sideways. I feel like oops. there could be this um, there could be this energy of wanting to kind of step outside of your comfort zone, wanting to take a leap of faith, wanting to go and do something that maybe you're scared to do. Okay, but 
it's like kind of half in and half out. You've got, you know, one foot out the door, but then you kind of keep bringing it in and putting your foot out the door and bringing it in. It's like, all right, I'm, I've got the courage to do this. And then you're like, nope, no, I don't. No, I don't. I'm, I'm backing out of that one. Don't have the courage to do that one. I feel like for many of you, it's a calling, okay? And there is a calling here, I feel, with this goddess of the moon. I feel like there's a calling in your intuition. Many of you are feeling intuitively that you need to do something, okay? Um, for some of you, it's literally like following your intuition to... How do I say this? Because some of you are very intuitive, okay? Some of you are very intuitive or psychic. You could even do tarot or whatever. Some of you are being called and led to use your gifts to help others. And maybe just until now, you've been using your gifts to kind of just, you've kept them to yourself. But I feel like some of you are being called to step out of that comfort zone and start using your gifts for other people. And so there is some fear there. It's kind of like, all right, I'm going to step out. Maybe not. All right, I'm going to step out. Maybe not. But I do sense that a lot of you are very intuitive with this goddess of the moon energy. Okay. Many of you are very connected to the moon as well and like do moon rituals and things like that. Okay. Maybe you're just being called to kind of show people what you do on a, you know, um, maybe all these rituals and things are very personal to you, but you know, maybe your knowledge on these kinds of things would help others. Um, and you're being called to share that knowledge with others, maybe on a social media platform or even YouTube or something like that. Okay. But either way, there's something your intuition is calling you to just generally your intuition is calling you to something. So it's this need to follow that intuition. All right. What else? We have all tied up. Show you that one. Okay. This is kind of like the eight of swords. So it's that energy of like self-sabotage. Um, <clears throat> the eight of swords. I swear my sage smoke. Like I love burning sage, but there's something... It bothers my uh, sinuses. All right. And I have really good, like, quality sage, too. So, I don't know. And you can smell the difference between the not-so-good quality and, like, the actual good stuff. Um, but anyways, <laughs> side note. Okay. All tied up. Yeah. Third chakra in the reverse. The solar plexus here on the bottom of the deck. Part, place, your place of personal power. Feeling like you have the power. You have the... You are capable you um, are fully competent and capable of doing what you're you're called to do, all right? But, yeah, and there's many blessings for you on the other side of this. If you notice, like, this solar plexus chakra is yellow, right? And then this cornucopia energy is yellow as well, showing you that as you heal that place within you that doesn't feel powerful, that doesn't feel capable, that you're going to be able to step into all these blessings um, that you will see once you step outside of that comfort zone and once you move into that next step, you're going to see all those blessings come in. Okay, but many of you are um, almost sabotaging because the self-sabotage comes from a place of not feeling good enough, not feeling powerful enough, not feeling confident or competent enough. Um, and that comes from, you know, childhood trauma and all that good stuff. So there's these voices inside of us that feel that tell us that we are not capable or we're not able. And then that self-sabotage kicks in because it's saying, you know, like, who do you think you are? You know, who do you think you are to be some big, you know, influencer and tell people, you know, coach people on how to do this or how to do that. Who do you think you are? Well, I know who God created you to be and you were created for a very powerful purpose, a very meaningful purpose. And you were created for, um, you know, a, a, a purpose on this earth. So those are all lies. Okay. Those are all lies. And so right now it's just about removing those 
replacing those lies with the truth and understanding the truth of where you're of who you are and what you're made to do on this planet okay like i said i said i feel like many of you are very intuitive and have a lot of gifts and you guys are being called to use those gifts <clears throat> all right let's get some astrological cards and see what's going on for you astrologically yeah look at that <laughs> crazy cancer energy with the numinous mystery okay cancer energy um this is the the cancer rules the moon all right um it's very uh yeah lunar huh, introverted um comforting nocturnal many of you have, could have cancer in your chart okay um and then with the numinous mystery wow with destiny right under that okay so this is about this is about seeking your true destiny okay your fulfillment your purpose um your experience in this lifetime and the numinous mystery is about the unknown psychic abilities uh the cosmos universal truth oneness source the unnameable the occult intuitions inner knowing okay so like i said the can cancers are generally because they're ruled by the moon are very intuitive also very emotional and that energy is is with you um for those of you i'm talking to that energy is with you whether you have cancer in your chart or don't that energy is with you right now and right now it's about finding your destiny it's about coming into your true destiny and that true destiny i feel like for many of you involves things that are um very mysterious to many people okay why are we here what is the meaning of life and what is god or who is god and how does this universe work and many of you are are being called to many of you understand certain truths okay you understand certain ways that things work because of that intuition because of that connectedness that you have to that higher place and that's your destiny and it's now it's time to walk in that destiny and you know release those lies and become out of that you know place of feeling all tied up and feeling bound by your own doubts and the lies of your ego all right but this here is telling me like 100% you guys are you guys have some kind of major destiny here you have some kind of purpose that you're being called to all right um, what is the next deck? I'm going to use this. This is the Animal Oracle deck. So we're going to pull a few of these. Okay, overall energy for Scorpio, please, for it. After these, we're going to get into the tarot, and then in the extended, we'll finish out the tarot. We're also going to do um, a, a card from my Beyond Lemuria deck here. Okay, it's these are beautiful, like 5D messages from the Lemurians, like channeled. If you don't know what the Lemurians, definitely like look that up, Google that. Okay, some of you, um, some of you do know. Okay, because you're on that, you're on that wavelength. overall energy all right we've got the coyote spirit so some of you are divinely connected to coyotes like it's your spirit animal okay trust in divine detours trust in divine detours so what i'm sensing is like many of you are feeling like your calling is a detour um you've been heading in one way you've been heading in one direction and now you're feeling called. It's like you've been going this way and you're feeling called to go this way. And um, I feel like for some of you, the circumstances and things that have come up in your life lately are creating some kind of detour for this like normal path that you've been on. And some of you have been like, why, why, it, why is everything shifting this way? Why is everything moving this way? And it's because the, it's a divine detour. It's because you are being divinely guided in a different direction. All right. We have crow spirit. Co-create with spirit. Co-create with spirit. Beautiful. So, and then the ant spirit. Time to collaborate. Wow. Cow spirit. The miracles are endless. And the koi fish spirit. There is always enough. Wow. 
You are being called to co-create and collaborate with the universe right now, okay? Or God or spirit or whatever it is you want to call. Call it, okay? The miracles are endless at this point. Um, we got the dove spirit on the bottom. Be peace. So there's always enough. There's more than enough in this in the universe. We have the cornucopia, which is showing you that there's more than enough for you in abundance. Um, some of you may feel like there's so many people out there sharing this information or becoming coaches or tarot readers or whatever. Like, who am I to take some spot in the spotlight and think that I'm going to be anything special? Okay, get rid of that mindset. Done with that. Done, done, done. Okay, there's enough. There are people out there who need you specifically, all right? Because you have a certain thing about you that other people are going to relate to. Not everybody's going to relate to me. Not everybody's going to relate to, you know, Cassie over here doing tarot or Becky or whatever. Like, they all have different things about them that make them attractive to other people. And so that's what draws other people in is, is your own personal flair to whatever you're doing. And you have your own personal flair to what you do. You're your own person. You have your own beliefs. And those are all going to draw people in that need you, okay? So you have to recognize that you are important in this grand picture. It's not just like, oh, well, you know, who am I gonna like be able to be in the midst of all these other people doing the same thing? Like you have something special, all right? Um, and I'm just seeing that miracles are gonna be endless here. When you step into this true destiny, when you step into this calling, you're going to see miracles happen. You're going to see like healing happen. You're going to see um, abundance come in. Like I feel like you're just going to see things happen for you that all of a sudden you're going to go, wow. Like it's going to confirm to you that you're on the right path. All right. Okay. Let's do some tarot. What deck do we want? This one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. All right, that's my little conversation with the spirit. <laughs> oh, yeah, you want this one? You want this deck? All right, we can do that deck. All right, this is my learning deck. So I have stuff written. I don't ever have to use that anymore, but this was the deck that I learned on. If you want to learn tarot, I highly recommend getting a deck that you can write on um, the back of each card, like um, little meanings. And so when you start doing tarot for yourself, um, I would recommend doing tarot for yourself first before you start doing it for other people. But as you're doing tarot for yourself, um, you pull out your cards and then you can look at the back quickly and go, oh, that's what that means instead of having to flip open a book every single time. And once you do that enough, those meanings are going to stick in your head. And then once you get the base of the meaning, then you, your intuition takes that however it needs to in the moment of whatever reading you're doing. And that's how it worked for me anyways. So now I know the base kind of of each card, but then it's like my intuition takes the meaning and does whatever it needs to do with it, depending on who I'm reading for. So yeah, anyways, and the pictures of the cards too, it changes, you know, the meaning of things for me. All right. So the eight of cups this is about like walking away uh look at what we have on the freaking bottom of the deck you guys the freaking moon okay 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 so now we have the moon twice we have the cancer energy which is ruled by the moon crazy so this is about your intuition this is about your emotions and your gifts and i feel like many of you are connected to the moon um or have cancer in your chart even um, but this eight of cups, this is talking about going on a journey. Okay. Going on a journey of soul searching, um, could even be walking away from something. Some of you may need to walk in a different direction or walk away from something that you've been doing to move into this new destiny, to move into this new place. Um, and for those of you who are listening, if you are like, oh, I know what I need to do. <laughs> I know what I needed to do. I felt the calling like then then this is your reading. All right. 
Um, if you don't know that calling and you're watching this reading, maybe in the next couple months, something's going to come up and you're going to go, oh my gosh, that reading, like this is the divine detour that she was talking about. Okay. Divine detours happen in all types of ways, like losing a job, um, you know, losing a place to live, like things like that, um, can all be divine detours to move us into a different direction of where we're truly meant to be. All right. So yeah, the Eight of Cups is talking about you moving in a different direction, walking away from, possibly even walking away from something to move into something else, okay? What else for Scorpio, please? <clears throat> okay, so we have the Star, we have the Death card, and we have the Three of Pentacles. So the Three of Pentacles is that energy of collaboration. Remember the ant spirit, which is collaboration. So with this death card here, so the star is talking about divine timing. Okay. And it's also talking about your purpose. It's talking about your divine purpose. It talks about healing and hope. Um, and <clears throat> like kind of the universe stepping in and making things happen. It's a very like divinely guided card. All right. With this death card, it's talking about the end of a chapter. It's talking about the end of um, a season, all right? So there's going to be, there could be a death to something here, and possibly even a relationship or a job or where you're going to live or something like that. There's going to be some kind of ending here that will be the catalyst for you to move into this destiny. And with this three of pentacles, this is about collaboration. That's about working together to make something happen. Some of you are gonna meet some people that you're gonna collaborate with, okay? You're gonna meet some other people just like you, um, <clears throat> and you're gonna form some kind of situation where you guys are collaborating together, and that's why this ant spirit is here. For others of you, this is just about a collaboration with God, with the universe, with that energy, so that you can do what you are being called to do, okay? All right. We're going to keep this here. We're going to move into the extended and we're going to pull more um, tarot. And then we're going to do one of these Beyond Lemuria cards at the end and see what the final overall message is for you. But we're going to look deeper into this situation, into this calling, um, and into whatever other situations that Spirit's wanting to talk about and bring up for you. Okay, could be relationships or whatever. So we're going to move into that. Like I said, there's... Um, the links for the extended are below patreon or the one-time purchase right now when you sign up on patreon you're going to get put into that drawing for the free 30 minute reading hope to see you guys there i love you so much and i'll talk to you guys later okay Bye. energy i don't know if i should step out i'm scared to step out okay and the empress card in reverse is saying um there's collaboration here this there's co-creation here with you and the universe but the empress card in reverse is look at look at this if I can freaking pick this card up, my nails. Look at these two cards, okay? Look how similar they are. The solar plexus card and the empress. Okay, do you notice that? The fact that Spirit wanted me to do this deck specifically. This is the only deck where the empress card has the solar plexus. Um, it's the only deck I have where the, the empress has the solar plexus thing going on, all right? And both of these cards came in the reverse telling me that there's this feeling of not feeling powerful enough, not feeling like you have what it takes, not being able, not experiencing that place of like, I am so freaking magical and I am so competent and I am gifted and I have the ability. For some of you, what I'm picking up for some of you, that kind of language for yourself sounds um, cocky. Okay, like you are, you judge yourself going, oh my gosh, I'm so conceited if I think that or, or people are going to think I'm conceited or people are going to think that I'm all, I think I'm all that. That's not it. Okay. There's nothing conceited about knowing your place and your purpose in this life. Like nothing conceited about that.